what's up welcome back to another vlog my name is Aviasa, and if you're new here and we are in the new place right now we're not fully moved in yet and we still have a week in our current lease but i'm here today just pretend that this clip is earlier in the day because i have just been getting clips all day but i haven't actually talked to the camera so i'm going to insert this clip in the beginning of the vlog but we're really just trying to paint the two bedrooms today white because they are the color of these walls right now and because we have shutters in the bedrooms and because of the way the windows face they're just a little bit darker we have a ton of natural light downstairs all the curtains are closed right now um but upstairs there's just not as much natural light because of tree coverage and everything like that too so i really wanted to paint things white before we moved in and it'll have all week to dry before we bring the big furniture in the last day of our lease but yeah that's where we're at so we're painting today um and yeah just stay tuned for the rest of the vlog i filmed the empty house tour thing this morning but um, I'm here. My mom came in town yesterday, so I'm super glad she's here because she's been a huge help and always great to see her. And then um, Griffin's mom is here as well, and we're all just painting together, and Griffin is studying. So, and he brought a load over of stuff this morning, and then I brought a car load over this morning, but we also brought a load over last night, and we've just gradually been bringing stuff. So, we basically have a good bit left at the apartment, but it's mainly like clothes and the big pieces of furniture. But we've tried to pack pretty much everything else, so that's where we're at. I'm so excited to share the sponsor of today's video with you all. You like is sponsoring this video and I'm gonna be showing you all the You Like IPL Sapphire hair removal device. Body hair is so frustrating sometimes and I like to keep hair removed from my body but maintaining it is expensive. And that's why I'm so excited to be sharing the You Like Sapphire IPL hair removal device for quick, painless, and effective hair removal at home. You all know I've typically used a combination of shaving and waxing for my typical hair removal method. You Like is the first brand to develop a professional ice cooling technology for hair removal. The SGS report details that multiple people in a four-week study verify that the results are accurate and effective. The device has also been approved by professionals and is skin friendly. It has over 30 international safety certifications. The Sapphire IPL hair removal device uses ice cooling technology with temperatures from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This really helps allow for painless and safe hair removal. The product also features a refrigeration chip which helps protect the skin from any thermal burns and the flathead tip really helps allow for 30 to 40 percent better hair removal results the packaging is super sleek and cute and it comes in this beautiful little box for you to store everything in it also comes with a pair of goggles to wear while using the device and a little razor to prep before using the device i follow the instructions and prep my skin with the razor and i tested the product on my skin to make sure that i wouldn't have any adverse reactions to it and this device can be used on many different body parts. I've mainly been focusing on using the You Like IPL Sapphire hair removal device on my belly because when I was younger I like shaved my stomach which I feel like so many girls can probably relate to this. And then also focusing on my underarm area and my mustache on my face. When I'm using the device after I've prepped my skin and tested it on a part of my skin I make sure I've shaved the area first um, in order for this treatment to work. And I make sure the glass is on and I power on the device and then I align the device at a 90 degree angle to my skin and press the flash button to get to work on removing the hair. Okay, my you like device is turned on and ready to go. You can hear it and I have it on the lowest setting right now as you can see. A little white light will come up right here and that basically indicates that it's ready to go ahead and do the flash treatment. So you have to wait till that shows up to be able to actually activate the flash. If it doesn't detect the skin there then and doesn't have a good connection to it, it won't do it. Okay, I'm gonna do my mustache, this first little part right here. I'm gonna angle it down just to show y'all the light so that that tells you that it's ready. And then do a quick flash. I'm gonna move to the next area. Do the same thing. One more. change to a tank top so I can show you all my underarms back on and I'm gonna do like medium power now for my underarms and 
and you literally can't feel anything. Feel the cool touch of it, but that's literally it. Like it's not even as cold as putting an ice pack on yourself. I love that you like it gives me a painless option for more affordable and permanent hair removal at home. And it's at the fraction of a price of going to a salon because it can add up so quickly, especially if you're doing more than one area you can be spending hundreds of dollars a month on hair removal. And I love that they offer 90 day policy for returns and exchanges and you don't need a reason to be able to return or exchange the item. So it's definitely worth at least trying out and seeing if it works for you. You're gonna find that it's a much more accurate, convenient and effective and cheaper option for hair removal and nothing beats being able to do it in your own home. I think we all are looking for ways to make things more efficient in our lives and especially personal maintenance for me personally. Anything that has to do with personal maintenance I can't stand going to the appointments for because it takes out of my free time and I hate having the commute to places to do so and spend the money on it. So this is really a game changer for being able to save so much time and money. So if you want to get started on your hair removal journey at home today, be sure to use my code and check out the link in my description and I'll have it here on screen as well. Try out the You Like Sapphire IPL hair removal device for yourself. I promise this will be a game changer for you and your hair removal. guys good morning it is sunday and we are working on packing some things up before we make another trip to the new place so i left my camera at the new place on accident so that's why i'm vlogging on my phone but we just loaded the car with a little bit we went through these top three drawers because they all had griffin's clothes and we just kind of like cleaned out the shirts he doesn't want anymore we have so much laundry we need to fold and do but i just have to go really pack these bottom two drawers and this will be ready to move when we move it but the room is such a mess um and we packed all of like griffin's clothes that were in those drawers in these bags these are so good for moving um i'll link them on my amazon storefront i think they actually already might be linked but they can fit so much i fit three euro pillows and some decorative pillows in one it's so good um for my outfit today i have on my revolved necklace this little aritzia crop tank top these lulu wonder under leggings my princess polly sandals flannel is cotton on so that's the fit for moving today hi guys back at the apartment I've been studying all day, but um, my mom and Sam and I, we all finished up the painting today. So we finally finished, which is so great. Um, and like our washer and dryer gets delivered this week on Wednesday. We have exterminators coming out on Wednesday. We just picked up torchies for dinner to do something quick. I got the brush fire without like the spicy sauce and the fried avocado taco. I haven't had it before. Then we got some street corn and guac. And I have, I ran an H-E-B while my mom picked it up. Um, so I could grab some kombuchas for the week and then just a few other little things like frozen fruits for smoothies and that kind of thing. I haven't tried the strawberry lemonade one before, but it's so good. I can never find it anywhere, but it's really good. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted and it's like seven, so I'm gonna go to bed soon since we have another work week coming up on us tomorrow morning. So, um, but I'll carry this vlog into the rest of the week um, and then do a separate one next week while we move. So, since I didn't get a ton of content this weekend. Hi everyone, what's up? I haven't talked to y'all since last night and it's now Monday evening. Things have just been really crazy like last week and over the weekend. So I feel like I haven't talked to y'all like at all. I know this weekend I like picked up the camera a few times, but basically last week I started a new project on work at work on Monday and it kind of like technically doesn't end until like mid next week, but like my portion of it and like my group's portion of it ends this week. And we shouldn't have too much left to do, which is a really good feeling because last week we worked really hard and we had to like go to the client and go in office and I was at the client today. Um, but I literally had no time to do anything last week between that project and some other clients I was on because you're really only supposed to be on just this client when you're on it. But I had other work to do, of course. I was at my office like all day 
um, and then would come home and make dinner, eat dinner and work right until I went to bed. And, or I was at the client and I had to commute to and from home. So last week was just really busy and I was trying to get some packing done on top of that, but I had zero personal time last week. Like I had no time to just sit on the couch for 30 minutes at all. I couldn't even work out, which you guys know how much I like prioritize like using that as an outlet and I literally couldn't even make it to a single class. So it was really bad. But anyways, what I wanted to say is um, last week was crazy, but it feels good because we're like wrapping things up now. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that and I was really nervous about it because starting new things at work is always really scary, but it feels so good to like come out on the other side of it, which I'm not like done with it forever. It's just something I'm going to be like working on quarterly, but it feels so good to come out on the other side of it for this quarter, knowing that like I did it and I learned so much and I love the team that I'm working with for it. So it's all really good stuff. But anyways, um, I am actually going to go to a spin class right now since I haven't I didn't really get to do any workout classes last week and I'm really excited to go to spin because I haven't been since the end of two weeks ago um, and I'm just really excited to like move my body and blow some steam. Our lease is up on Sunday. I did just realize that last night. I thought it was up on Saturday. So that's good news. I think I'm gonna try to take a half day Friday so we can maybe get movers Friday afternoon instead of Saturday because it's cheaper. But I'm not 100% sure yet because um, there may not be movers available this late notice because we just decided yesterday that we're going to do movers for our bigger pieces of furniture because we've already moved a lot of boxes which y'all haven't really seen that but we have packed a lot like decor is pretty much all packed most of the bathrooms packed um a lot of the kitchen is packed but there are still things here and there in the bathroom closet and kitchen that need to be packed so that's where that's at but um yeah i'll carry this vlog up until we move in and then i'll do a moving in vlog but but today has been such a long day because my mom came in this past weekend as y'all know and i had to drop her off at the airport this morning um but i had to drop her off early because i had to commute to the client today the airport was like a total of like 30 minutes out of the way from the direction i needed to go for my client so I had to leave here with my mom at 6.45 and got to work at like 8. So it was, it's just been a long day, but thankfully we didn't have to stay at the client all day today. We were able to come home. So I still hit really bad traffic because there was an accident, but um, got to finish up the evening here at home, which was nice. But here's what I wore. The sweater shawl thing is from my newly this month and it's from Anthropology. I love it. I didn't think I had anything that would match to go underneath it, but I actually have this pink sweater that like, literally matches almost perfectly um i got this sweater from aritzia it's like a little bit cropped but it's perfect for like office and it's very lightweight definitely too warm to be wearing right now in houston but um it's really perfect for the winters here in houston and um i got it last year so they don't sell it anymore but it's the babaton nathaniel sweater if you want to try to find it find it on poshmark or something and then aritzia denim forum arlo straight jeans and my franco sardo Ida loafers that i always wear and my little initial necklace from ray paul it's later i just got home from spin it's so weird being done with spin at this time i have like i don't think i've ever gone to a 5 30 class i've always done 6 30 because i just like normally can't get off work in time for 5 30 but today i did so i went to 5 30 and it's so nice because it's not like already time to start like getting settled and ready for bed when i get home but i wore this align tank i wonder train camo leggings we have lots of laundry to do back here. Some of that's clean and some of it's dirty, just fun stuff. Definitely gonna shower soon, but I think I'm just gonna take advantage of having more time tonight because who knows what'll happen the rest of this week. Like things could be really busy one night. So to take advantage of like actually having time tonight, I'm going to get some more packing done and just turn on some YouTube videos while I pack. It's 9.30, I'm about to take a body shower. I should have showered earlier, but I was worried I'd get sweaty packing, which I haven't. I don't know why I thought I would get sweaty packing. We always keep our apartment like a lot colder at night. But anyways, I got these two big boxes packed, which is so great. Um, 
one of them's like living room related stuff and like a lot of things that were in this closet so like my record player printer random little things like that yeah got those two boxes packed so basically all of the kitchen is packed i went through like everything that was up here and it's nice and empty now because we had a lot of like random kitchen related things in there um the only thing left really in all of the kitchen are the few dishes that we've kept out for this week um and oh crap i forgot about everything in here actually I need to pack all the Tupperware related stuff, but we don't have that much, so it shouldn't be that hard. And then a few little things that have in here. And then I have to do spices and pantry. In the bathroom, I just packed the rest of the bathroom stuff besides my skincare that I'm using right now and hair care and what's in the shower. So, and then a little bit of closet related stuff. So you can see I have a little vanity mirror in here. I have like my little stacked drawer that has like all my extra hair products and body products. The bathroom is literally a mess and so is a closet. We love moving but the bathroom is like done besides what we're using every day and what's in our shower but i feel like all that stuff is going to take so long to pack up and it's going to be way more stuff than we think yeah, i got four boxes packed tonight and i got a lot of stuff cleaned out so that's good and this closet had so much crap in it and it still does but there's a lot less in here now um a lot of this is just stuff i'm saving because it's not stuff i want to put in a box so It is after work and I am making dinner or about to start making dinner. Our HelloFresh hasn't gotten here yet. Um, so still waiting on that, but thankfully I have stuff to make this pumpkin risotto with bacon, bacon and Parmesan from the original dish.com. It's what she looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this since I picked up the risotto this morning from H-E-B. I haven't vlogged all day today. Um, I was down bad this morning with period cramps and literally was struggling very, very, hard and um but i got up at like 6 30 i was extremely exhausted i think the exhaustion from this past weekend and then having to get up so early yesterday and not falling asleep till later two nights ago just like really knocked me out and hit me today on top of starting my period so i was just like not doing well and i just couldn't vlog and so i went and picked up the protein this morning for griffin that he needed and then the um, Arborio rice that I needed for this recipe from H-E-B because I did a curbside order this morning at 7, but I went to the wrong H-E-B, so in the drive to the other H-E-B, I came home, immediately made my coffee, ate breakfast, and then started working. It's been a long day, but I actually feel a lot better now. I'm still cramping, but my energy feels better. But after dinner, we have some things to catch up on because I'm going to work on some YouTube stuff, and I also am doing some wedding planning related stuff for the first time, so stay tuned for that coming after these dinner clips. Here's where we're currently at with everything. Um, I'm sitting on my couch and it's like literally almost nine somehow. It's 8.40 and I just have to do some selects for a brand, which I like to look through everything before I pick stuff out. So it always takes me so long. And I try to like be very specific and selective. Like for example, this is for a Princess Polly video. And when you're picking product out, it can be really tempting to just pick something that you wouldn't typically get because you're like, oh, I'm just getting this in exchange for, you know, like the posts I'm doing and for money. So like I'm not technically paying for this thing. And I find like I look at my closet now and the times I've done that, those things are the things that still have tags on them. And I'm like, I just need to stick to like what I know I wear. I'm really excited for that because I feel like it's going to be very versatile. And I also got a dress that I... I've had my eye on for so long on Princess Polly that I cannot wait to wear as part of like being a fiance, which is like a really beautiful white dress. So I've got my little Yasso and wedding planning that I started doing is I kind of made a draft list of my side 
of the wedding guests. But then also I am trying to set up touring venues. So I'm actually doing all of this through my Notion. And basically I just made like a little wedding page on my Notion. Um, you don't really need to see it because there's nothing on it yet. But I made a little wedding page and then I have two sub pages. I made a guest list one and I kind of have a table and I just have the names listed out. And then I have a column like for, are they gonna have a plus one, yes or no? Or is there a plus one like included in Griffin's guests? And then for venue options, I'm just gonna kind of set it up like an Excel sheet and have the name, the price, um, if it's indoor, outdoor, blend of both, the capacity, if what they include like vendor wise. And I don't know what else I'm gonna add on there, but I have found a lot of venues that I really like on Instagram. Some of them are like outside of Houston by like an hour and I'm not too crazy about that idea, but one of them I like really like and the price for it looks really, 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 really great compared to other things I've seen. So I'm like, if we just have to drive an extra 30, 45 minutes, like what, a, what is that gonna be at the end of the day? Um, in order to save like a ton of money if it ends up being the one. So I set up a tour for that. My mom's gonna be coming in town at the end of the month and we're gonna plan on going and seeing places. I wanted to update you guys because I really just found a lot of places on Instagram. The little feature on Instagram that, where, that has like the little person and then the plus on when you go to a page or like an account is so helpful for like trying to find similar things, whether that's a clothing brand, you wanna find similar clothes, or an influencer and you wanna find similar influencers, or if it's a wedding venue and you wanna find similar wedding venues, it's so helpful. Cause I found like three places that I hadn't seen before by doing that. And I also found some really good photographers that I found through doing that. So I don't know, just a little piece of advice if you're like trying to find places through Instagram, only scheduled a tour for one of them. Um, we're either gonna do it at the end of this month or early next month. It's really stressful because obviously I want my mom here for touring all the venues for dress shopping, but she lives 10 hours away. So we have to like pack all of the venue tours into one weekend, which is really hard. But I'm thinking that places are gonna be different enough and they're gonna have like big enough pros or big enough cons to where like I can really consider them or just not consider them. So that's that, but I'm gonna eat my Yasso and then even though I'm still cramping like crazy, I've got to like do a little bit more packing because we just scheduled our movers and they're actually coming Friday afternoon. And I'm kind of sad about it because our lease is up Sunday, so I want to leave here on Sunday. Like I want to get every last minute I can out of this apartment just because I do love living here. And I'm really sad about it. It's like equally depressing and equally exciting because it's obviously depressing to leave here because I love it, but it's really exciting to like go to a new place in my own place and be in a new area. Yeah, I'm moving on a Sunday. It will be nice to move on Friday because then I'll have like all day Saturday and all day Sunday to get settled. And if we like want to leave anything here, we can and come back to it. Um, I may just like come back here on Sunday to clean and not worry about that on Friday because it would just be too much. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see. vlogged at all today it's just been a really chaotic and busy day with work and then trying to make dinner and clean up and like just be packing um i finally got through our ginormous basket of laundry and got all that like folded and put away we still have some dirty clothes but i think i'm just gonna i don't know what we're gonna do it's just been a stressful day because our washer and dryer delivered at our new place today and right when the first cycle was ran it leaked and like flooded not flooded but basically like leaked water all out under from the laundry room through our like powder room downstairs and under like the first stair so we just sent it back with them because it was defective and we're we don't know we're gonna get like a different one i guess but it's really stressful not knowing like when we'll have a washer and dryer so i'm like okay i need to do all the laundry i can while we're here but also knowing that, you know, we could do it at Griffin's parents if we really needed to, but I'm just like stressing about getting that ordered and there's just a lot going on to kind of like call 
venues today at lunch to try and schedule that but we originally had plans to do it one weekend but then it just like wasn't really working out so I am trying to change everything that I had planned to the other weekend so just like a lot of chaotic stuff on top of already having the work all day and work late and everything else but we don't have any trash bags to like wrap our hanging clothes in we have like our simple human trash bags for my simple human trash can and i don't want to use those because they're more expensive so griffin's gonna pick some up tomorrow so i haven't been able to do anything with clothes in the closet which i think is like really stressing me out um but hopefully i can just get the bags on those and they'll be ready to go but i cannot believe the movers are going to be here in two like less than two days so it's really stressful um and just thinking about all that has to be done before then is stressing me out but I'm going to Pilates in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. I'm just feeling really stressed too, cause I just feel like I have a lot of brand deals piling up, but luckily like once this last deadline's over in a few days, I will be able to breathe again and put more time and energy into YouTube because it's so hard to when things are really busy and, but now it's like, okay, I like can see a few weeks ahead and I'm like, things are gonna be really busy right as the deadline's ending things are just gonna get really busy with youtube and i'm just like really behind on editing too so that's like sitting in the back of my mind and there's just like so many things going on moving in college was kind of like fun it was always stressful but it was a little bit fun nothing about this is fun at all Okay, the moving saga is still continuing. So much has gotten done since I last talked to you guys. Um, this morning I went to Pilates at 6.30 with Savannah, which was really bittersweet because it was like our last time riding together to a workout class. It's something that we've done literally almost every single week since like I've lived here. Um, either in the morning or in the evenings, we've like always done at least like once a week going to Pilates or spin or doing like Melissa would help in our apartment thing together. So sad stuff. <laughs> um, it was really bittersweet, but I haven't even had time to like process the emotions of this literally being my last night. Oh my God. I'm so sad. Ah, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't soak it up. And that's what makes me so mad. Like I want to enjoy this night and like soak it up. But obviously when you're moving, things are chaotic and you can't do that. The most annoying thing is all the last minute stuff. So like all these last dishes that we have for making dinner tonight to pack tomorrow morning. I'm trying to just like have a box ready for that stuff. At lunch, I just went through all of our like sauces that were in here and I took one of the shelves out so I could fit this. This is like a refrigerator bag and I stuck a lot of our refrigerated stuff in there, but the rest of the refrigerated stuff I'll have to stick in another bag tomorrow. I went through the pantry, threw stuff out and it's pretty much ready to go. I just gotta do something with these. I think I'm gonna stick them in bags if I have big enough bags and then our food is ready to go in bags. And we bubble wrap the mirror. I've gotten like the stuff off the walls and off my nightstand. The bathroom is a mess, but it's gonna have to like close up some of these boxes that are already full. Um, I'm about to go to town with putting all the clothes and garbage bags. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And Griffin's um, taking his shoes out of the bins because we were gonna try to pack all the like little shoe storage bins we had into boxes, but they would have taken up way too many boxes. Um, Cause like only like five or six of them would fit in these large boxes. So I had to like collapse all of these little bins that we have and take them apart. So it's gonna be such a pain to put them back together, but at least we won't be like wasting a ton of boxes. But then like my nicer shoes that I don't wanna get messed up, I'm leaving in the box and I'll just take them in my car. about to shower but I wanted to say these are honestly game changing using the big heavy duty trash bags we've always just used like the small regular ones but we were able to fit so much more in a bag without the bags ripping and this makes me feel like we have like way too many clothes seeing this many bags but this is both of our hanging stuff like all of our nice clothes sweaters hoodies sweatshirts t-shirts so Got lots in here um but everything's pretty much good to go yeah i'm gonna shower um the only thing left is like the stuff on our counter right here and then in our top two bathroom drawers but i'm just gonna have this little box and i think that this is a good little hack 
for packing two. Just keep like one box for all your last minute bathroom stuff. And then a lot of our products in the shower are empty right now. So I'm gonna throw those out after I shower. And then I always do the pillows in those like big bags. And then I have like a dry cleaning bag that I'm gonna stick the duvet cover and other pillows in. Last time I'm going to sleep in here. I cannot believe it has been 15 months. And if anything, it's just like show me how fast time goes by because like I just remember this time last year like it was yesterday and I have like all these emotions and feelings right now but I genuinely just like don't feel like I can feel them um like I know they're there but I literally cannot feel them right now I'm almost numb to them and I think it's just the busyness of right now I just can't even like sit still to process the way I'm feeling and I would have loved to have just like sat and really like relished in being here because honestly this is my dream apartment like i love living here and i would keep living here um but we just found a place that we love so much and you know it's moving out of my dream apartment but into my dream like starter home and there are definitely things that i say my dream starter home and that doesn't mean it's like perfect that just means that it's like perfect for right now for us and to grow into but, um, but I'll be coming back here to clean either Saturday or Sunday but this is my last sleep here this place has just been such a great home to me for my first year 1.25 years in Houston and I just have the hardest time digesting the fact that like this time last year was a year ago because so much has happened since then, but at the same time, it just doesn't feel like it's been that long. I feel like I was like sitting in my bed crying over the CPA, like, and being stressed out about it. Like it was like a few months ago, but it was literally a year ago and it's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here and start the moving out vlog tomorrow morning. But thank y'all so much for watching this week's vlog. I'm sorry that it was a little all over the place and I didn't get to do a lot of like filming. I kind of just tried to get a lot of B-roll of the packing related stuff. We weren't actually moving out this during this week's vlog, but that's in the next vlog, so stay tuned for that. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this last week in this apartment. And thank you all so much for being here all this time, even if you've only been here for a few minutes today. Um, you've been here for a while. I appreciate you watching because you all doing so allows me to do things like this. And I'm really grateful. And I love y'all. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out my podcast and Bloom Podcast, turn on post notifications, and follow me on social media. Link down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next moving vlogs and everything. And I will see y'all in my next video. And be sure to check out the You Like IPL hair removal device and check that out in the description box because um, it's been such a game changer.